Are we on? We are officially on. It's oh, it's the condensed camera angle. That's the problem. Oh, your mom. Uh, uh, Ten seconds. Edit privacy because it won't default to public. There we go, public. Anyway. Alright, ladies and gents, we're gonna fix this. You turned off the text chat? Yeah, because it condenses the oh, yeah. to a square. That's right. Oh well. Wait a minute. I want, that light on. I want figures. Fair enough. Alright, everybody, welcome back. We're going to try right. and play Knock Knock again. Because last time we got to the end and got fucked. Yeah, last time things didn't go so great. So we right. we have returned to the house of doors knocking and the fuckery. Yeah. And this so, guy who might be insane, might be dreaming, might be haunted. We're not sure. I went ahead and got a head start. I just started the game and one of the first dream sequence. And I've seen two fragments of reality. We need at least six. I think there's I believe there's eight in the game, so I'll definitely stop trying to go for them after eight, definitely. For those of you who weren't watching before or haven't seen this game before, Dragons of Reality are basically a collectible that you acquire by performing certain tasks. They don't look like collectibles, they're just weird cinematics, yeah. but they count as a collectible. It's more... It seems to me to be more accurate to call them fragments of surreality, because every time you see one, it's a bunch of strange shit. It looks like if Pablo Picasso could animate... What just happened? That was weird. Yeah, it's... it's fuck her out, it just didn't happen. It's an MC Escher on an acid trip yeah. on some of them. And the thing is, actually, they all actually have kind of differentiating uh, surreal art styles. There's one that's definitely Escher. Um, there's some that are, I can't remember the name of the artist that really started it, but juxtaposition, where it's like, you know, an elephant in a canoe, and he just kind of fits, and you don't even have to explain why. I don't think juxtaposition is the right word for that. Juxtaposition? But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, to juxtapose is to replace something with something else. Yeah, it's replacing sizes and position. Juxtaposition. And that just happened. Whatever that was. Yeah, that was a little spooky. Um, yeah, no, if you use an art, you basically are putting something in a place that's not supposed to be by the laws of physics and such. Juxtaposition applies. Ah. And so. Alright, so the first dream sequence is complete. Who's on? Uh, yeah, 
we're just gonna kind of we're gonna poor man speed run this. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we need to just finally officially beat this fucking game. Yeah. I want to see an ending that doesn't have game over after it. Yeah. <clears throat> and preferably the good ending, which is collect all the pieces of reality. Well, it's that, and basically any chance you have of running into the girl, you basically have to go for it. If she appears, you have to interact with her. Uh, well, I, thought that was one of the, uh, I thought that was one of the elements of actually getting a fragment. Well, I mean, whenever you find the girl in the forest, then yes, um, you have to run into her in order to see a fragment of reality, but with what I've read, hmm. with all that taken into account, that means... Even if you found all the fragments of reality, if you still see her, you still gotta find the bitch and you still gotta interact with her. Yeah, that's that's not exactly what I saw. The only evidence of things I saw was get all the fragments of reality and beat the game with the, the within the time limit, essentially. For the good ending? Yes. Okay, well, for the semi-good ending, same deal. You had to find at least six for her to appear as the, uh, the main guest. The main guest slash monster slash ghost slash buffery. Being outside your house, creeping the fuck out of you. Breaking people's glasses. Yeah. I still have to give him a new cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually caused property damage without being present. One of our viewers got... Jumped so yeah. hard that he <laughs> spilled his glass of vodka. And it definitely shattered on the ground, and he definitely sent me photographic evidence. It was wonderful. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Crowning achievement, really. Cause property damage without being there. Achievement of a... Alright. The morning is getting near, but not close enough. Sleepwalking yeah. eye. Doors bolted. I'm standing in front of it. It just opened up. The fuckery. That was weird. Anyway. Um, I really do appreciate PS4's uh, built-in streaming mechanics. Yeah. I just... I just love. I miss. I miss the freedom on the PC with the create my own splash screens and shit. I really wish that was an available property. Yeah. But there'd be too much copyright nonsense. Oh, hello. There she is. Hey. The problem is walking through bushes that you can't fucking see. There Got we her. go. Number three. Got her. That's not disturbing at all. Where are your peoples? Well, that one's pointing to where they should be. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, there's a lot of random <laughs> symbols in this game, I too. Flower. A kingship of some sort. Writing. A pinwheel of some kind. Infinity on... That's actually a Mobius strip. Where? That's not even just Infinity. Midright. That's a Mobius strip. Yes, it is. You ever think that he might just be cousin it with a shave? Entirely possible. He's got the right stance. And the poor language. Fucking trees and bushes in the way. There we go. Excellent. We got a long way to go, folks. Which really isn't that long, all things considered. Yes. I suppose. Now you know you're dreaming because he wakes up in a hospital bed for no reason. And then the candle. Probably plenty the of also, reason. The candle's also there. I'm sleeping at this point. Who the hell knows what's going on? Everything is falling into disrepair. Many rooms have been neglected. This house should be impenetrable. Even a little crack is serious cause for concern. It's quiet, but might have a patch every gap. I'm not gonna lie, that crayon drawing right there of like the plant monster eating bugs kinda weirded me out. Yeah, a little bit. That is gross. This is my fortress, yeah. I'm not gonna read everything every now and then. I might read something that says that. I did not like that sound. That was the drawing. I'd buy that. Hello. Yeah, so 
the fuck of this game, and we talked about, you know, what I want to see an ending that doesn't involve game over, is you can complete this game and not beat it. Yeah. No, it's intense fucking. And we've done it, what, two, three times? Twice. Twice. Uh, yeah, we got too frustrated to do it elsewise. Um, frustrated, drunk, whichever. Yeah. Yes. The answer to all of that is yes. Okay. Your eyes are adjusted. Small room. Look at that. Didn't do anything. It just went out. That's the, this is a unique room. Yeah. That's the fuckery is that usually when lights go out, they burn out. And you have to rewire it, replace bulb, whatever. It's weird for the lights to just turn off and not actually burn out. And, yeah. It's one of those things that like, this game is pretty much spooky. I mean... I played a playable teaser, which, rest in peace, for, uh, was real. for Silent Hills, and that game didn't particularly bother me. Now, the people all around me as I was playing it, and we were doing it all together, I think it made it more entertaining. Yeah, at the very minimum, jumped, shook, whatever, it didn't particularly bother me. Scary games, scary movies don't really bother me. But playing this game has got some fucking jump scares just with noises, because for one, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there are certain sounds in the controller that don't come through the TV, and vice versa. Yeah, the thing sometimes is... Sometimes it's voices. Sometimes it's just shit happening. So, the thing is... Hello. Hello. Um, Silent Hills was full-blown scary. And that doesn't really affect this guy. But this game is fucking unnerving. Yeah. No, I definitely... Like, we'll be sitting here talking, and what have you. And then all of a sudden something will happen. And catch me off guard while I'm trying to play this game. Scare the fuck out of me. Anyway, this is an endless hallway. I can go through doors. There are open doors and closed doors. If I go through closed doors, it'll put me in a different hallway. If I go through open doors, it'll act like I died in the sense of it'll cause me to restart the, restart level. the level. However, if I'm walking, if my eyes gloss over and you notice my pupils disappear, then the next door, the next open door that I come across, I go through it, I should see another fragment of reality. These are the frustrating fragments to collect. Yeah, because there's no clear objective of what you're looking for. And Honestly, the pupils even, disappearing is very random. We, yeah, and even what we've got is <clears throat> still not 100% confirmed. Yeah. Because every now and then, like, my eyes will also go right in front of the door. Yeah, and then I'll go through, it. and then it won't work. Unnerving ambience. Also, that noise. Because fuck you, that's why. I've seen co conflicting information, and that's because it's based on people's theories. Because there's no very clear information about this game, just that you need certain things to do certain things. And some theories on how to get certain things to happen. Shit, case in point, the character actually, as far as I know, doesn't have an official name. He's just been called he's, The Lodger. Yeah, he's The Lodger in the cabin. And and that's one thing. There's nothing else. This game has remarkable sound design. Oh, yeah. Like, it does 90% of what it needs to do to scare you without visuals. Now, there are some visuals that will freak you out, but mostly because it jumps. But even then, it's usually preceded by sound. Mm -hmm. It's the sound that freaking scares you. Okay, so it's a fine job of it. There's my melons. And my melons are out. Fuck tits. All right. Eyes are not glossing over. I'm going to go through the next closed, closed door, door I see. Yeah. Get me into another hallway and go for it there. Which I say that the next three doors I see will be open. Of course. Without fail. Oh, noises. Well, I said I was going to do it. Closed door. Ah. Uh, right, basement now hallway. The, now we're in the red rooms. Red room. Red room. Get it? Of course I do. I'm old enough. <laughs> I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. And gosh darn it, people like me. Is somebody in chat? No. I'm old enough. What? Oh, it was you. I just glanced over at the chat and there was a line of text there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me linking creepy imagery. Like, it's one of those things that I'm fucking glad that it